Hey everyone, it's Coach Jeff from CrossFit Seeds today. It is Friday, April 3rd. Workout today, we have two parts for you. Uh, the first part, every three minutes, you're going to perform a set of work every three minutes on the minute. The workout will have three movements uh, put together for you. We're doing an RDL, that's a Romanian deadlift, that's a stiff-legged deadlift. 30 seconds worth, followed by a single leg deadlift on one leg and 30 seconds of a single leg deadlift on the other. So 30 seconds of an RDL, immediately followed by 30 seconds of a single leg deadlift on each leg for a total of 90 seconds of work. You'll rest for 90 seconds, you'll repeat that for a total of four rounds. During that workout, you'll have the option of holding a a bar or a kettlebell or a dumbbell as resistance or not, depending on how strong and uh, balanced you are. Okay, so that'll be the first part of our workout. Second part today will be a partner workout. Uh, we're gonna look to accomplish uh, around four to five rounds of work. We're gonna give you about 20 minutes to do that. Each partner will do a full round of 15 mountain climbers, 12 alternating lunges with a weight if you have one available, nine hollow to arch to hollow. So you're gonna flip from a hollow hold to a Superman and then flip back to the hollow hold. So nine of those, then 12 more lunges and 15 more mountain climbers. Okay, so that'll be part two. One partner will do that whole set of work, then the other partner will do the whole set of work and you'll just alternate back and forth for a total of about 20 minutes or four to five rounds. If you don't have a partner, simply you can uh, rest as much time as it takes you to do the work. Uh, if you are uh, not somewhere where you have a partner available, uh, think about FaceTiming a friend or doing those uh, through Zoom. Uh, that way it's a little more fun and you can interact with somebody else. Okay, so that'll be the second part of the workout. All right, so let's get. The first movement of our warm up, we're gonna do some mountain climbers. Uh, we're gonna do about 20 seconds worth or so. So for your mountain climber, what we'd like to see is this nice sort of level position of the hips and the shoulders with the core engaged, pushing up towards the ceiling. And we're simply gonna push pull the hips and legs forward and back. So right left equals one rep for today's workout. Uh, give me about 20 seconds of those. From there, we're gonna do alternating lunges. So when we lunge, we'd like to make sure posture is nice and tall, the knee is stacked right over the ankle. We don't wanna see the weight shifting forward on the toes. So you're gonna give me about 20 seconds of alternating lunges. Next movement, we're gonna do hollow crunches and holds, and we're gonna do a set of uh, supermans or arches. So come down to the floor. Create a nice long body line for yourself, legs out straight, thighs engaged, core engaged, reach those arms behind you, press yourself up into a hollow, staying long, come back down. Do that for 20 seconds. Flip right over, go into your arch position, arms reaching long, legs tight, glutes tight, face, mouth to the floor, looking down. Contract the middle of your back and your hips and thighs. Bring yourself up into the arch and back down. Repeat that for 20 seconds. Okay. Last movement we're gonna look at in the warm up is the RDL. So I'm gonna use a PVC pipe. So if you have one available or a broomstick, this might not be uh, a bad tool to have. So an RDL is basically a deadlift movement where we are minimally bending the knees. We're looking to load the hamstrings and the glutes as much as possible. So if you take your normal deadlift stance where your feet are right under your hips, you maintain a nice flat back position. We're simply going to push those hips back out of the way, keep those knees and shins back, and wherever your mobility allows you to go to, stop and then squeeze and pull your hips back through. So again, we're pushing those knees back, hips back. The knees do not want to bend forward. As you come up, drive back in the shins, squeeze the glutes, pull those hips through. So we're gonna do about 20 seconds of those. If you don't have a PVC pipe available, 
Just put your arms down like you do, hips back, nice and tight, nice flat back, come up and squeeze. So 20 seconds of those. Once you do one full round of all those warm-ups, uh, let's do it again. So again, more mountain climbers, another set of lunges, another set of hollows, arches, and then RDLs. Okay, so that'll be our warm-up for those movements. Okay, so once you have those done, Let's look at the hollow to arch movement. So we're basically going to take a, a movement and we're going to flip directly from one to the other and then back. So it'll look like this. I'm going to come down in a nice long body position. Hopefully you can see me well. I'm going to come up into a hollow hold. I'm going to flip right into my arch or Superman. I'm staying long and tight. I'm going to flip nice and long back into my hollow. I'm going to go back in the other direction, into my Superman, into my hollow. So the keys to success here, keeping length and tension, arms long, legs long, keeping the core engaged, and keeping the butt tight. So do about five or six of those total. One rep is hollow to arch to hollow and then go back in the other direction. That would be one rep and two reps, okay? So practice some of those. Again, stay long and tight, and that'll go well for you. Okay, last movement we are gonna warm up is a, a single leg deadlift. So uh, basically, you may have a weight in your hand or not. So let's say I grab something like a kettlebell. On a single leg deadlift, we're gonna take the opposite leg off the floor. I'm going to push my hips out of the way. I'm going to keep a nice posture in my back. I'll go down as far as I'm comfortable and then come back up. We're going to work on balance here. We're going to work on leg strength. Let's do about six to eight of those on one leg and then repeat to the other side. Six to eight on the other side. So, the single leg deadlift, we will allow a little bit of bend in the knee. Range of motion really dependent on your balance and the mobility in your hamstring. Uh, you don't need to go all the way to the floor. We want to make sure we're keeping that nice flat back. We don't want to come to here and then round. We want to make sure our back stays nice and tight, balanced, and through. Okay? So six to eight uh, single leg deadlifts on each leg, and we'll be good to go. So we should be pretty well warmed up and ready to go. So the first workout again, we are uh, combining that RDL movement. So that single, excuse me, that strict deadlift movement. So let's say I have uh, a dumbbell. I can take that stance. I can push those hips back, keeping those knees pretty uh, engaged. Tension in the back of the legs, pull up and through keeping that posture. Uh, so anything you have, uh, you can even hold something simply at one side. If you only have one dumbbell, let's say you have a pair, you can hold the pair and simply push those hips back nice and tight and pull through, right? So any load you have, a pair of dumbbells, a single object, uh, a sandbag, a book, a backpack, it doesn't really matter. You should be trying to add some load to this movement. So you're gonna do 30 seconds of that RDL movement, getting as many quality reps as you can in in that time. Quality really being the focus, right? We don't want to have bad posture. Uh, we want to really load those hamstrings and glutes. We want to feel that tension. It should be pretty uncomfortable. Uh, and we want to make it burn a little bit. So 30 seconds of those right into your single leg deadlift. So right after the RDLs, I'll go right into one leg of single leg deadlifts for 30 seconds. Immediately after the 30 seconds, I'll go right into the other leg, single leg deadlifts. Again, making sure to keep good posture. Going down only as far as I can control the weight and balance. So you're going to do four rounds like that. 90 seconds of work, 30 seconds at each movement. Then you'll have 90 seconds to rest and recover. If you have weight, again, as much weight as you can use, as heavy as you can go to keep good posture and form. Uh, you should try to load this up a little bit. 
Uh, this is a movement that you're finding some challenging uh, balance with. Uh, maybe you start a little bit lighter, and as you kind of feel your way through the balance, you make each uh, set a little heavier. Okay, so uh, four rounds. Every three minutes, you start a new round, so it's 90 seconds of work, 90 seconds of rest. When we're done with that workout, I probably take a few minutes to recover. Uh, I might stretch the hamstrings, hips, glutes out a little bit. We're going to go right into that second part of the workout. Again, it's a partner workout. Uh, with one partner doing a full round and then the other partner doing a full round. But again, if you're solo, uh, simply time how long it takes you to do it and uh, rest. And then you'll, you'll go again for a total of four to five rounds. So it should take about 20 minutes. 15 mountain climbers. So each uh, a mountain climber, that's one, two. So right, left equals one. 15 mountain climbers, nice tight core, nice tall hips. From there, 12 alternating lunges. If you have the ability of grabbing some sort of load and adding that to your lunge, keeping nice posture, you can add load to it. 12 lunges, not per leg, 12 total. Nine hollow to arch to hollow. So flip over to your stomach, flip back over to your back. That is one. Go back in the other direction, that is two. Uh, then to 12 lunges again, then to 15 mountain climbers again. That's your one round to work. With this workout, if you find that the nine hollow movements, a little too many for you, a little too challenging, feel free to scale that down. Maybe five or six uh, is good for you. So one and two, something like that, all right? So 20 minutes of work. Uh, work equals rest or alternating with a partner. Uh, so today's workout should be uh, a good challenge for you. A lot of core, a lot of hamstrings, hips, and glutes uh, stability. So focus on technique, focus on balance, focus on control. Uh, none of these movements are really movements that are meant to be rushed. They're meant to be done correctly uh, and help you build stability and balance for all of your other weightlifting movements. All right, so have a good workout. Uh, let us know how it goes. If you have the ability to uh, send us a video or some uh, snapshots, you can post them on social media, hashtag CFSD Strong. Have a great day. Enjoy the workout. I'll see you next time.